Sophia the First, the Royal Slumber Party. Sophia and Amber are having a royal sleepover tonight. This is where we'll be sleeping, Amber says. The observatory? We get to sleep under the stars, Sophia exclaims. It's a royal slumber party, Amber says. Everything has to be amazing. Sophia tells Amber that she's invited her two best friends, Ruby and Jade. Amber looks shocked. You invited village girls? You're a princess now. You should only invite princesses to a royal party. But Ruby and Jade are fun, Sophia assures Amber. You'll see. Just then, the royal herald's trumpets sound. They're here, Sophia cries. Amber's friends, Princess Hildegard and Princess Cleo, step out of their coaches. Behind them are Jade and Ruby, who jump from an ox cart. I can't believe we're here, Jade exclaimed, hugging Sophia. It's time for the party to start. The princesses change into fancy nightgowns. Ruby and Jade giggle as they roll their hair in pine cone curlers, just like at home. We're at a royal sleepover, they chant, grabbing Sophia to join their dance. The other princesses stare at Ruby and Jade. What are they wearing? Princess Hildegard says. What are they doing? Princess Cleo wonders. Princess Amber frowns. Are those pine cones? Ruby hears Amber and dances over. Want some? We brought extras. Amber grabs the pine cone and stomps over to Sophia. Sophia! Pine cones are not a part of an amazing royal slumber party. Sophia is worried. She wants her new sister and her old friends to like each other. They can fit in, she says. They just need a little help. Sophia has a great idea. How would you two like a royal makeover, she asks her friends. Ruby and Jade squeal with excitement. Bailiwick and Sophia's woodland friends help out. They fix the girls' hair and dress them in pretty gowns and tiaras. Sophia makes her friends cover their eyes, then she leads them to a mirror. Open your eyes, she says. Jade and Ruby gasp when they see themselves. I'm a princess, Ruby exclaims. Me too, calls Jade. Next, it's time for party activities. First comes fan decorating. Ruby and Jade have fun, but their fans don't look very princessy. Then the girls play a game of pin the tail on the unicorn. Oh, oh, Jade says, can I go first? But Jade ends up nowhere near the unicorn. After that, the girls watch a magic puppet show in the banquet hall. During the show, James, Sophia's brother, walks in to say hello. Prince James, Jade and Ruby squeal, rushing towards him. They are thrilled to see the friendly prince. Jade and Ruby are so excited to see James, they accidentally knock over the chocolate milk fountain. Oops, chocolate milk splashes onto Amber's nightgown. She is furious. We're so, so sorry, Ruby says to Amber. Yes, so sorry. Jade adds. Amber walks off in a huff while Sophia shakes her head sadly. Bailiwick hurries Jade and Ruby away to get cleaned up. Then James tells the girls it's time for dancing in the throne room. Let's go, Amber says. Maybe we can enjoy five minutes of our party without Sophia's friends making a mess. Now Sophia is even more worried. She goes off to find her friends. I want you both to fit in with the princesses, Sophia explains. We look like them now, don't we? 
Jade says. Yes, Sophia says, but princesses don't talk much or laugh so loud or make so many messes. Jade frowns. We were just having fun. We're sorry, Ruby adds quickly. We'll try and act like Amber and the other princesses. Thank you, sighs a relieved Sophia. Now she is sure that everyone will get along. Sophia and her friends join the others in the throne room. But Ruby and Jade don't know how to waltz. All they can do is stand there and watch the princesses dance. After a while, they tell Sophia they want to go home. But you're finally fitting in, Sophia cries, and you're not embarrassing me anymore. Her friends are hurt. I'm sorry if we talk too much and laugh too loudly for your fancy new friends, Jade says. Maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Ruby takes Jade's arm and together they rush out of the room. Don't worry about them, Hildegard says to Sophia. You're with us now. Sophia goes after her friends but finds her mother instead. I was trying to help Jade and Ruby fit in, she explains, but I just made them feel bad. A true princess treats people with kindness, Sophia, Queen Miranda says gently. If someone is your friend, you should like them for who they are and not who you or others want them to be. Sophia knows her mother is right. Sophia runs outside and finds her friends just as they are about to leave. I'm sorry about the way I acted, she says. Please let me make it up to you. We can have our own slumber party, just the three of us. Jade and Ruby think for a moment and finally agree to stay. Soon Sophia and her friends are in her room having a great time. They laugh loudly. They talk a lot. They even make a little mess with feathers after a pillow fight. They roll pine cones in their hair and perch tiaras up on top. Meanwhile, Amber and her friends go back to the observatory. Finally, it's just us princesses, Amber says. This is just an amazing party, Hildegard agrees with a yawn. There's a very long silence. Soon, the princesses realize they are really, really bored. You know, Cleo speaks up, Sophia's friends were kind of fun to be with. A moment later, Amber and her friends knocked on Sophia's door. Do you have room for a few more princesses? asks Amber. Sophia looks at Jade and Ruby. What do you think? The more the merrier, Ruby says with a smile. Sophia and Amber end up having the most perfect, amazing, royal sleepover with friends, both old and new. The End I hope you enjoyed the story of Sophia the First the Royal Slumber Party. I hope you come back to hear more stories from Grandma.